glad to be here. AMA is represented by about 300 members, of which more than half are affiliated with vinyl industry. Vinyl windows really started the growth spurt in um, early 1980s, 19, late 1970s. At that time, the market was dominated by aluminum and wood windows, and vinyl is less than 5%. Since then, uh, in just 27 years' time, vinyl has grown from 5% of the market to 72% last year, overtaking both wood and aluminum. The primary reasons are in the early to late 1980s, the government started mandating energy performance that aluminum had a lot of trouble complying with. Wood windows, on the other hand, were really a little bit more expensive, comparable in energy performance, but not quite as flexible and not quite as uh, energy proficient. Close, but not quite. So that was with the two major tailwinds that really fueled the growth of vinyl windows in the U.S. Along with one other thing, they were very soon incorporated into all the major code, codes in the country, therefore becoming something that was recognized just as structurally or as, um, as fundamentally sound as any other frame window. That gave them the legitimacy to really take off and be specified by a lot of architects and really desired by a lot of homeowners. When you think back to the, to the growth, it was nothing short of spectacular. It started out at about four million in uh, the early 80s and is now, it's still growing, it's now at 40 million units a year of vinyl window sales. One of our proudest achievements uh, with respect to vinyl windows is the establishment of our certification program for the profiles themselves. These profiles are certified for heat resistance, dimensional stability, and outdoor weather to assure that they will perform in applications where the climates present those kind of challenges.